algoma. Fresh, expansive, majestic landscape of raw adventure. From soaring eagles and tranquil moose to plentiful and massive smallmouth bass, this destination will captivate you with all it has to offer anglers. It is early May, prime time for fly fishers who want a realistic opportunity of catching four to six pound smallmouth bass in shallow water. But it is not always easy at this time of year. On this excursion, we were jostled by forceful winds, hammered by rain, and even hail. Yet, that did not stop us from landing some truly magnificent fish besides bass. I'm host Alex Parks. Join me on my first adventure to Algoma country in Northern Ontario. Ooh, that's a nice sized fish. Good fish. The new Fly Fisher is brought to you in partnership with Destination Ontario, Algoma Country, Orvis Fly Fishing, Fish USA Fly Shop, America's Fly Shop, Scientific Anglers, Trout Unlimited, WeatherTech Canada, For years, I have wanted to visit Algoma Country to sample the outstanding fishing. When host Colin McEwen learned this, he insisted that for my first adventure with the new fly fisher, we traveled to Algoma to sample the wide variety of fishing available in the spring. We both drove to Thessalon, Ontario from our respective homes and met at Carolyn Beach Inn, a local gem that sits right off the Trans-Canada Highway. Boasting panoramic views of Lake Huron, Carolyn Beach is a fantastic home base for anglers in search of their trophy fish. And families hoping to explore the vast wilderness of the Algoma District. We both settled into our separate rooms and began unpacking our gear in anticipation of the days of fishing to come. In typical Northern Ontario spring fashion, numerous storm fronts decided to roar in from the west on my inaugural visit. Quite the welcome. Despite the prospect of bad weather, this did not diminish our excitement. As our guide for the next few days, Adam Valley, assured us that there were lots of great fishing opportunities. Colin has fished with Adam for several years in Algoma. He is an exceptional angler, knowledgeable guide, and one heck of a nice person. All right, Adam, you brought me here. Where are we? What are we doing? It's a it's a beautiful misty day. You know, a little bit a little bit of rain, but not too much. I think it's probably going to be pretty good. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on? So we're up in one of uh, many of our beautiful lakes up in Algoma. We're blessed to have an abundance of smallmouth lakes here. Um, today we're going to be targeting fish on extended flats, and our fish are going to be grouped up closer to deeper water. So we're, we're basically gonna be looking for steep drops that are gonna be adjacent right to that deep water. And we're gonna be throwing flies like woolly buggers. Ah. Now, do you think color matters right now? Rule of thumb, dark color on a darker day, overcast day, helps silhouette in the water. And that's usually what we're gonna start with. And rules are only meant to be broken, I always say. So definitely uh, don't be ever afraid to change things up, but we're gonna start with, uh, with the rule book. Thank you. 
So there's a fish on you right now. There's two of them on you right now. Right at the boat right now. Okay. Like Cape Prime doing? Yeah. Yeah. They're locked on the bottom too. But that could be because they're coming into the boat. I gotta pop us out a little bit here. <laughs> Got a girl. Got a girl. There we go. All right. There we go. Keep them tight. I need the glasses. There we go. It's a little run here. Beauty. So this, case, this guy came right up for it. We're using an intermediate sinking line. So throwing that out there, you just let it wait for a good one to two seconds, let it drop. And that's when the fly is really starting to look like food. When you start that really elegant retrieve, they're still a little bit cold, but this beauty, I'm thinking it's a male, this beauty just came right up and arced around the fly, took it, giving a nice little fight. It's not going to the boat, bud. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Woo! Shake here. Let him run. You wanna go on this side? Uh, I just see where he's going here. God, what a fight. Just heavy, you know? Pound for pound. They're one of the best, no doubt. All right, yeah, I'm gonna bring him, try and bring him on this side. Actually, <laughs> Sorry, Adam. You want to come this way? I can't. He's gotten tired. All right, here he comes. Beauty. Ah, beautiful that's a good, eyes. That's, a, that's a, a start for you. That's a start. All right. Wow. Look at those red eyes. Beautiful fish. See you later, buddy. All right. Scared you. <laughs> right on. Oh, let's do that again. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it's probably nice when I see that over there. Wow. Oh, that's a, a nice one. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Little guy. Maybe that was a fish on the that, I think maybe it was. <laughs> oh, beautiful female. Yeah, like Look how fat. That's a pre-spawning for sure. Hey Alex, what we're doing right now is uh, we've, we've noticed that we caught some small males up in the shallows. And then you just hook that nice fish as soon as we dropped off off the first break. So those females are sitting back and waiting for, you know, some sunshine to warm that shallower water and push up. So what we're doing is we're getting right off that first break and that's where we're really targeting you to cast your fly right now. He's gonna come up. Keep your eye on him, I think, just in another two seconds, right here. Here he comes. Here she comes, maybe. Whew. Heavy. All right. This stuff 
definitely wasn't a hard hit. It was a... Just picked, sucked it in. Yeah, just a nice little kind of toilet bowl. There we go. Beauty. Nice. A little dark, darky red eye. Sometimes the conditions dictate it. Ah, that's beauty. Thanks. Yeah, Alex. Beautiful fish here. Great fight, really heavy. Not huge, but beautiful bass. You ready? There. So what we were doing earlier, the weather was a little bit more mistier. It was dark. We were using an intermediate sinking line, but all of a sudden we decided to change it up, put on a 10 foot leader on a floating line with a bronze goddess. It's got some flash, it's beautiful, and it's heavy. It's got that dumbbell eye, so it would sink. You wait a little bit, bop, 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 wait, bop, 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 and the retrieve, and boom, didn't hit hard, but it hit well. Brought her in, beautiful. It's midday and we've had some success. Adam moved us to another location and Colin decided to switch tactics and flies, which resulted in immediate action. Beauty. When you get, I don't know if you're gonna have a chance here, but those, see that mark right there? That's a fish right up there, 30 feet in front. Oh, it's a nice one too, Colin. Ooh, beauty. So Adam, what I was doing, is I got the full intermediate line and I put on a vampire leech and I, uh, Oh, just doing what you told me to do. Go really slow. Oh, that's right a nice on. fish. I'm gonna get out of the way here and put it back. I'm using 4X tippet on this guy, which is plenty strong. And just bowing to the fish. Oh. You got shoulders. Beauty. Yeah. All right. There's a good fish. I seen him sitting out there, I swear to God, on that graph. It's unbelievable. The setup Colin is using is an intermediate fly line with an eight foot leader to which he has attached a two fly rig. The first fly is a weighted vampire leech. Then 18 inches behind, he has a floating vampire leech. This setup glides near the bottom slowly and seems to be ideal for the conditions. Good one Colin or? Yeah. I saw her line just go to the left. <laughs> <laughs> the little the end of your fly line kind of went. <laughs> oh, you got the back one, just like you said. Well, he wasn't ready yet. He wanted to take a he wanted to stab at him, even though it's not really big. What you want to do is this is a good fish to practice on. Get the get the line in the reel, oh, like I showed it. you, like that. Yeah. And then you control the fish. I'm bringing them over. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, okay control, so I'm not... control, pull them away, pull them away. Yeah. Reverse okay. it. That's a big fish. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it was a really big fish. Brought it to the brought it to the boat and and then it it's just gone. Gah! Duh! Move on. Right. 
Ready to hatch you? Right for deep water as soon as you hook them. That, that's the spining well. Look at that. That's nice. Ooh! Run, baby, run. Did you call it the tail gunner? That it was yeah, on no. again? Yeah. He's on. Beauty. Yeah. Oh, he's on the top one. Yeah, top the sinker. This is a vampire leech that I'm using. So the front one has got tungsten, bright orange bead. Oh, come here, baby. There we go. Nice. That's a better fish. Oh man, that's a good fish. Good job, Paul. Holy moly. Look at that, you lost your tail gunner. Colin keeps landing fish, and I continuously lose them. Hmm, not sure I'm feeling the love here. Finishing up the day, we had some epic laughs, wet nets, and some seriously nice fish. A short boat ride took us back to the launch and soon we were at the inn. The Carolyn Beach restaurant is famous in the area for their outstanding meals. And tonight, we are treated to some of our absolute favorites. Mm, so delicious and a great way to end the day. Clouds, rain, wind, hail. The storm fronts were back and they were ready to rock. Thankfully, so were the fish. While I would like to say I landed all the fish, I would be absolutely joking. Nice one? No, oh. God, small. Small? Yeah. They stare, there's two of them swimming towards us right here right now. Fat fish, there, there we go. go, there we go. Does it feel big? I don't know yet. It might have, a, oh, it's a bass. Oh. Lost it. There. Yeah, I was just gonna say there's a fish right there. It's gonna be a better oh one. Oh my. I'm so sorry. That was gonna be a good one. My mojo was definitely not on for some reason as I lost fish after fish. Oh, I was just gonna say there's a fish yeah. on here. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you don't have to bring him in. That's okay. I'm just, yeah, keep want to that, keep that keep bend. Tight, yep. He's coming really quick to me. Good job. Oh, Alex, that was a nice fish. Great. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. <laughs> that kills me. <laughs> Let's do it again. feeling it. There. I was going to say, your line just went to the left. That's why I was asking. I, I look, that's so funny. <laughs> you into a good one? I can't tell yet. Like, it's like, after. <sighs> Happens. Let's, let me see that. The clouds began to clear and the sun came out. Perhaps this is an omen that I will finally have success. Oh my God, yeah, no. I was, there. yes. Keep tight, keep tight. Turn okay. up the Woo. Turn a little bit to Jeremy. <laughs> is it a big one or just an okay one? Three pounder. 
Oh, it's still good. Yeah. Here she comes. There you go, girl. Yeah, that's a nice fat fish for sure. Good fish. Yeah. More like three and a half. That's three and a half, yeah. I just released about a three and a half pounder of beauty. Huge lesson for me today. Right when that fish hits that fly, we were using the bronze goddess. Right when it hits that fly, instead of fishing in a river, we're fishing in a lake. And so that fish is looking to go deeper. So it's coming right at the boat. When that fish comes right at the boat, you gotta strip, strip, strip as fast as you can. And if it's big, take it to the reel and game on. That's a fish. Yeah, well, that's heavy fish. That's a big fish. <laughs> There you go. Control that line going out, perfect. That's a good one. Nice color on it. Yeah, so. Green body, black tail. Ooh, heavy. It almost looked like you were snagged on the it bottom didn't it until though? you had seen a head shake. I genuinely thought I was snagged. It's a nice fish. Oof, that's a, that's a hip, oh. Yep, keep, keep that tight yep, when he comes out of you there. Yeah. Good job. And he's beauty. E and he's eating crawfish. Yeah. All Just right. A thick one. Beauty. I got my hands wet. Ethical show fishing. Him that, show him that fly. Oh, you got yeah. that fly so good. You suck that down. If you can see that, look at that. Just stunning. Nice having those barbless hooks. That's beauty. Sure. He's getting closer and closer right in front. Look, he's right there now. See him? Oh yeah. Okay, that's not good. Under the boat. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just bring him up. Oh. <laughs> Can I get out of the boat? Yeah. Just hold yeah. him, hold him hold them there for a second. Yeah, I can hold. Here, let me do this. Behind it, her. Well, that's a great fish. That's a good one. <laughs> Holy moly. Gorgeous. Come here, girl. Oh, yeah. Nice. Back to backs. That's a five. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's pretty. It just looks pretty. Like, that's pinned beautifully. Oh yeah, look at the little... See the lipstick? Yeah. They're eating crawdads, that means. After a few hours of catching some nice smallmouth, Adam decided it was time to move to another location. A location with a bit of a twist a river. Adam recommended we fish a local river which features lots of excellent structure. Fallen trees, rocks, and boulders, even overhanging trees, all providing shelter for smallmouth bass. So come the summertime, I have a lot of clients that, you know, they really want to get on fish in a river. And what's great about this river is it's got nice clear water, great current, lots of targets to cast at, and you're gonna get a lot of visual takes in the river. On top of that, the fish might not be as big, but they fight so great in the current as compared to the lake. And we have so many different rivers up here that you can come and enjoy the bass fishing up in Algoma and the zone 10 area. There. 
They're probably gonna be sitting pretty low, eh? Yeah, or they're gonna be sitting more in current breaks in here, you know? Like they'll be on a tree, on a rock. Yeah, like that log coming up right there. Yes. See the shadow on the back end? Yeah. That bass is gonna be sitting right on the side of the log, letting that current get broken. Pull strip one more time. You just, there you go. You're just in front of it, let that run there. Nice fish too. Nice fish too. Good job, Alex. All right. Oh, I'm gonna just, they're sitting out in the channel, I think, maybe waiting to push up. Maybe that water's just not there. You know what I mean? That's a decent little fish, actually, for the river. Okay. All right. Did he hit it hard? He just, he came up and gulped it. Yeah, look, he's got it really good. Go. Ooh. Right. Didn't lose it? No. Beauty. That's okay, nice little guy. So this is a, a nice little fish. If we can turn it just a little, see the beginning of the red eye. Adam gave us an awesome tip. Just the twinge, they're just getting ready to spawn and then the color will go away once they're done. It's beautiful. Beauty. Your fish, let them go. Swimming up, Alex, no, up further. He's, he's, he's on the break. Let that fall, let that fall. Okay, okay. Is that him right there? Yep, I think he's coming to you right now. Give it a pop. Yep. Pop it again, he's coming to you, he's coming to you, get ready. There. Fish, good job. All right, beautiful. Nice fish too, Alex. Ooh, nice bend in that rod. Here he comes. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good river fight. Beautiful black tail. Her, baby. Right on. Nice. And another female. Kaboom. Where that fish came off is up top end of that log. Oh really? Okay. Let me just do a and couple chase too, so. There. Got him. My hook set, that wasn't. You damn it. Yeah. You put it, I you dropped it. Dro you dropped your rod out. I totally did. I yeah, I knew that one. He's right on the end of that log. Okay, let me just let it drop. He's coming out. Too. He's right here. I can still see him. He's moving. That's a fish. Come down. Okay. I'm, Come down. I'm working it. I just wanted to. More, more, more. He's like right there. Okay, he'll see it. I'm right over top of him, potentially. Yeah, he's, yeah you'd be on top where he was. He's yeah. not there now. I don't know if he's on you or. Got there it. You go. Good job. Got him. Nice job. See them eyes? Peepers is a nice fish too, Carl. Great job putting this fly in the right spot. Oh, that was beautiful. Laid it out, let it come down to him. Oh, right at the boat. That's a fat one. Lost him. That happens, that happens right at the boat. Shook Three. it and gone. Oh wow, I just had 
a serious shark swipe at my fly. Colin just went and lost, what, four pounds? Right now, we've hit about 48 degrees, which is a degree warmer than typically we've seen. Amazing, let's get it. Nice fish, Colin, or? I think so. It's hard to tell with the current. I don't need that fish. But... Oh my God, be careful when you do that. What did I tell you? Yeah. I did some real magic there. I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. Sometimes less is more. Yeah. All right, so I just cast it to some structure. It's beautiful here. We've got a really awesome trough. The best thing that you can do, cast it and let it wait. It's going to sit and sink, especially now that the, the bass are sitting on the bottom. It's a little bit cold, it's about 48 degrees, which is warmer than we had earlier, but let it swing down, let it sit. And if you're lucky, you're gonna be able to see them come up from the bottom and swipe it like a little shark. Nice one. That's a good fighter. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, nice. No, nope, no. Nope. Keep them, keep them out, keep them, pull them. Yeah. Nice fight. Great job, Alex. All right, here we go. He's gonna come up in He's a second. He's gonna come up right now. You're gonna be done. Oh, there you go. There we go. That's a better river Great fish. Didn't lose good that job. <laughs> Great job. And Beauty. how you change flies. <sighs> just gorgeous. Beautiful red eyes starting here, just about to spawn. That's a female. Here we go. Gorgeous female. What we did here, we were hidden white for quite a while, changed it to a yellow and green pattern, hung it on the bottom for a little while, and she hit just an amazing way. Oh my gosh, beautiful fight. Heading back onto the main lake, Colin and I were very curious about what species might be moving now that the day had warmed and the sun decided to show. These northern Ontario lakes are nothing short of a box of chocolates. You really just never know what you're going to get. I got two lake trout on my fly, right here. Whoa, I don't know, feels good. Oh, that's a good it's one. It's a lake trout. <gasps> Damn it, cool. That's so, so there's an added bonus, Adam, of so coming cool. out this time of year, is you can catch wonderful 
smallmouth bass. He told me sometimes we get into largemouth bass. And with this cold, cold water, in this specific system, we get a nice lake trout like this. And he took the bronze goddess. So this crayfish pattern works for everything. Even northern pike have caught them with this fly. It's just a great all around pattern because the poor crayfish, they get eaten by everything. Look at the head shakes, you can tell when it's... I was wondering, uh, I thought that this was a big bass because the way it went from in there to out there and that was in about eight feet of water, eight, 10 feet of water. Using an intermediate line, about a six foot leader. Okay, get his head up, you ready? I got him well hooked. All right. That's a bonus. All right. And I'm just going to carefully hold him here and this will come out real easy. Here we are, another one of those magical moments that we've been enjoying today. Um, where we got rain coming down, sun's out. This is uh, one of the reasons you gotta be adaptable to the conditions. But the really cool thing that's happening right now is I've hooked one lake trout, lost something else, which might've been a lake trout, might've been a big bass. And Alex has had the same thing. There's fish all around us on the sonar. This is the exciting part about this type of fishing this time of year. It's basically box of chocolate fishing. We could be fishing for smallmouth bass and I'm gonna get a big largemouth bass or I'm gonna get a northern pike or I'm gonna get a really sweet lake trout. I mean, that's the really cool thing about coming to this region this time of the year and hooking up with Adam is that you're gonna get onto some really sweet fish and you never know what's gonna be the end of your line. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a pike or a lake trout? No, pike. that's a trout. It's a pike. After an incredible day of catching multiple different species, Colin and I sat down to watch the sunset and enjoy some wonderful takeout food from Carolyn Beach Restaurant. A perfect day. Colin and I chose to stay at Carolyn Beach Inn for several great reasons. Easy access to the Trans-Canada Highway and local fishing. Clean and comfortable rooms that are affordable and perfect for anglers. Wonderful views of Lake Huron and plentiful parking and space for bringing your boat. But best of all, they have a super restaurant that offers a wide range of delicious food, even for takeout. Our last day in Algoma. Today is truly special as we are going to fish a local river for wild brook trout. Something I've dreamed about for a long time. I could hardly wait to get dressed in my wading gear and rig up my rod to hunt for these magnificent trout of the north. Wait for it, shoot it across, right through there. 
Sexy. Perfect, perfect. Let that strip that nice and slow. And then we'll move down the pool a little bit as we go. So Adam has us casting. We've got a sink tip on a way forward line. Might have had a bite there. <laughs> uh, on a way forward line here. And what's interesting is that the wind is coming from my right. And so in order to make a really good cast with a heavier fly, we've got a dumbbell weighted fly, purple, pink, and black flash. What's happening is that the wind is gusting and we want to duck because it's coming very close to our face. And so you want to do a sweeping sidearm oval cast to be able to get that fly away from you and hopefully where you need to be. <laughs> Fish. There, fish! Woo! Gorgeous. Okay, looks like a good... Good job, Alex. So this brookie ended up hitting really, really close to us. So I was about to, and what a lot of anglers can do, oh, let it run. You want to let it run when it pulls like that. Make sure that you let a little bit of line out if you don't take it to the reel. But what's happened is that I could have gone ahead and picked up my fly to cast, but what a lot of anglers need to do is remember that you want to uh, ooh, let it run. <laughs> this is a good fish. You got fish. a five weight, This right? is a good fish. It's, it's a little five, five weight. weight. Yeah. It's a good fish. It's fighting really, really good. So you want to make sure that you let it sit for as long as possible because the fish could be sitting right in front of you. So, oh, this looks like a good one. All right. Good call with the move. Ooh. Fish. This could be my PB rookie. Yeah. I might cry. Welcome to Algoma. Welcome to Algoma. This is Adam Valley, <laughs> my favorite guide. Ooh, oh, that's a good beautiful fish. Beautiful fish too. That's a good fish. Yeah, nice colors. Where is it? No, nope. lost it. Here he goes. Woo! <laughs> nice job. That is my baby Brookie. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful wow. fish. Beautiful fish. Look at this. What an incredible beautiful natural fish. Wow. Nice job. Look Alex. at the beautiful halos of blue still colored up a little bit. Oh, this is a beautiful colored up fish still, right? So it's got unbelievable red speckles with blue halos around them. Just looking absolutely lovely. You can really tell the white line and the red fin. This is a this is a gorgeous Algoma fish. I can't even I Welcome. can't even handle it. Welcome. Thank you. And you didn't even have good conditions <laughs> today, so I'm very excited. Great job. Beautiful, it's got a purple clouser, nice and purple, black and pink. Just unbelievable. Good job, Alex. Woof. There we go. Fish number two. Here we go. All right, so this one actually hit at the exact same spot that the last one hit. Coming near me, here we go. Hey, buddy. Make sure you keep tension on that rod tip, right? And the cameraman wrapping around him. <laughs> here we go. This is why fishing in Algoma is so fun. You know, these are wild, wild brookies. They are ready to go, they're hungry. If you can find them, they will eat. And so it's awesome. We first started off with a beautiful uh, minnow pattern, nice and green, but I think it was just, it was just in the mid water column. This one, again, like I said, they're sitting on bottom. They're taking us for a little journey, which is uh, basically what Algoma is. You know, you go for a journey to find these brookies and here they are. There you go. Beauty! Nice job. All right. There, fly pop right out this time. Ah, uh, look at this. Great fish, Alex. Beautiful little 12 incher. Still has a little bit of color. Isn't cool. that just stunning? Just, ready? Beauty. 
ahead and okay so we've caught two brookies right now it's been an awesome morning we've got a pressure front coming through we originally tight line nipped right we were nipping but adam in the best guide that he is decided you know they're hitting streamers and so tell us a little bit about that and why why we're, we're fishing right now well we just decided to hit this current seam here because it dumps off into a nice back eddy with a, a lot of depth in a, for a nice pool for them to sit in yep so what, what is going on right now, at least what I think is going on, is these brook trout are just sitting in that slack water and waiting for food to kind of come by and they can ambush on those current seams and then kind of sit and out of, out of, the, out of the current and yep. a little bit easier for them to... Awesome. Live. And that's, that's so bang on though. You know, both of these fish we caught and they were within 10 to 15 feet of us, right? So they're right there. They're actually on, as you were saying, right on the inner side. Yeah, of right the, on the seam. They're sitting right on the, on the seam, seam break, sitting... They're probably a rock down there. They're sitting behind breaking current and the food's awesome. just coming through them. Who doesn't love a buffet? <laughs> right? right? This is so Algoma. <laughs> the fronts were moving in again. Temperatures were dropping. I really started to feel that cold waiting in 45 degree waters. The thought of hot coffee and resting ashore kept coming into my mind. But thankfully, I ignored this desire. Girl. <laughs> As soon as you slowed down that retreat, you're right. Great job. It's a nice, uh, nice weight. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice fish for sure. Gosh, this is just awesome. <laughs> wow. Something about fighting a fish that doesn't get old, eh? <laughs> this is definitely something you can get emotional about. I think we got something figured out there with you slowing down your retrieve yep. nice. It's, it's funny, it's, it's, uh, it's fast, fast, stop, little movement, stop, look at your guide, set. <laughs> <laughs> that's a beautiful oh, fish. Oh, that's a beautiful, yeah, that's a nice fish. Gonna pop her up. Nice. Beautiful. Nice fish. <laughs> that's a great fish. <laughs> Woo! Oops, popped right out. Popped right out, yeah. Here, I'll get you. Good. You want to get the fish? I'll get your rod out of the way for you, Alex. And all right. Thank all you. Right. Well, this is uh. something to get emotional about, indeed. This angling excursion exceeded all of my expectations. From comfortable and affordable accommodations to ease of travel and accessibility to great fishing. Hilarious moments of frustration and delight to a fantastic guide who wants nothing more than to get you into fish. This was the best. I will be back and I can't wait to see you there with me. The new Fly Fisher is brought to you in partnership with Destination Ontario, Algoma Country, Orvis Fly Fishing, Fish USA Fly Shop, America's Fly Shop, Scientific Anglers, Trout Unlimited, WeatherTech Canada,